two guys asked me to pick up something from the bottom shelf. And when I stood up, the guy had a 25 automatic. Puts it to my head. Someone outside called the cops. Four terrorists had been surprised inside the store on Friday afternoon. No, they didn't know who we were. Holy crap, 12 hostages inside a sporting goods store loaded with firearms. We opened the door. There were cops everywhere. That's when things went haywire. The perps certainly had evil intent. Kill the hostages, go out in the blaze of glory. We didn't want to go out in the blaze of glory. The hell are you going to execute me? And I got all these guns in it. What do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to defend myself. A story of violence inside a sporting goods store in Brooklyn. Botched robbery, killed a police officer. I don't think that they believed they could get out alive. There's terrible racism in the criminal justice system. It's about destroying your enemy. Some cops became really anti-black. The army of occupation in the ghetto, you know? The Constitution was flushed on the toilet. I think we overdefine racism as something bad. Bullets was flying all over the store. They wanted blood. I was terrified. We're through. Cops usually wind up overreacting. Kill them all. No. I believe in talking. Harvey Schlossberg. He didn't look like a cop. He didn't act like a cop. He was a genius. Oddball. Harvey taught me that we have to use active listening, emotional labeling. It was revolutionary. This is the birthplace of hostage negotiation. You're looking to find that key that opens that guy's head. My mother? Anything you can to make a conversation, you must get them to talk. The crowd got tired of hand. You might have a massacre in your hands. Just give me a reason to kill you. I told the commanders, no, I'm not a person that kills other people. I think a human life is such a precious gift. All their fires, all their fires, everything is under control. I want them out alive.